Hi, everyone. This is Joe Chadburn, the Ambassador Network Director here at World Missionary Press. I'm here with my good friend, Dr. Grace Taravinga from the wonderful nation of Zimbabwe. She is Every Home for Christ, Ministry Director there. Welcome, Dr. Grace. Thank you very much, uh, sir. And I do appreciate uh, you reaching out to me and just us uh, catching up. Yes. Well, if you would, let's talk about what you want to talk about. There's so much going on uh, in Zimbabwe with the economy. And I know there's been a time of uh, just a lack of food and, and various things that we discussed previously. And of course, we also, we're going to talk about what the Lord is doing, talk about World Missionary Press Scripture booklets. And uh, I just trust your heart and the Christ in you to uh, to share with us today. So I'm going to leave it with you now. What would you like to talk about? Well, first of all, I just want to really give honor to the Lord, appreciate him and extend my immense gratitude for his goodness and his faithfulness. He remains an awesome, magnificent, and wonderful God. And even in the midst of difficulty, uh, one thing that has become apparent for me is the revelation of his goodness, the revelation of his faithfulness, and how he continues to come through. And even when you look at it, you see uh, his unseen hand that um, is orchestrating everything. I've got a testimony last year because uh, we, we had requested literature and um, the literature took a while to get here because the ocean, the, the weather was so bad, the vessel was delayed and we got to where we got into our Christmas project. And I love the Way to God booklet. And I would have really, really wanted to put the Way to God booklet in the hands of the people. But unbeknown to me, I had not really thought it through, not really processed it. But we got to the point when our Christmas project were going to reach out to the Zionist churches, who most of them... Um, they don't uh, talk about the Lord Jesus Christ at all. Some of them don't even talk about the work that he did for Russ on the cross of Calvary. Some of them don't even read Bibles. And I really felt led to reach out to them because they're 37.6% of the nation's population. They're the largest religious sect. And if you take the mainline denominationals and you take the evangelical and you put them together, they're still a couple of percent smaller than this set. And so I, I then had realized that we're not going to make a significant impact without reaching them. And I had arranged uh, to get a lot of their bishops to come and I was going to train them and share with them on the work that Jesus did for us on the cross, uh, get the gospel message in its truth and in its entirety to them and just really drill it to them so that at least they can begin to see uh, the value and the importance of the gospel. Remember, Paul said it is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe. And, and, and I wanted them to experience that. And, and so came time to go to that community to go and do the training and steal our wonderful literature I had not arrived. And the only booklets that were in our stores was the help from above in Shona because I needed them to be in Shona because most of them, they don't send children to school. They don't go to hospitals. So they're generally highly illiterate. So English booklets, we're not going to count and they're not going to make it. So I wanted a Shona booklet. So we only left with one Shona booklet that was in stock in large quantities, help from above. But lo and behold, this booklet sailed amongst those people because they are largely animistic. They believe in the prevalence of the spirit. People flock there. Their growth rate is 6%. People flock there because 
of the poverty, because of the challenges that people will be going through. And they believe they must go to a man of God who will then pray for them. And actually, the, the, the whole concept of praying for them is phrased uh, getting help. So imagine help from above. Yes. They loved it. It spoke to their issues. It was God sent. Mm -hmm. And with that, I also then realized the infinite, infinite wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. And even the delay with our literature, I believe it was God orchestrated. Because if we had had all the other booklets, help from above would not have been my number one choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would have wanted to take way to God. I would have wanted to take who am I? And guess what? Mm -hmm. That's the booklet that the Lord chose. Yes. And he orchestrated it in such a way that it would speak. Mm -hmm. And it began to really highlight the value and the importance of seeking help from above because these people go looking for help from these so-called men of God. And 99% of the time, they are not looking to God, the mm -hmm. author and the finisher of our faith. They are not looking to God, the God who watches over Israel, who neither slumbers nor sleeps. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for me, I was just really, really encouraged by it all and I I thank the Lord for that and I still want to register my gratitude to God because he is so so faithful and even when we are on the field he goes with us he leads us he directs us and in moments when he knows grace would be obstinate and put way to God ahead he <laughs> delays the shipment so that the very booklet that people should get, mm. they receive, they're ministered to. And indeed, we had marvelous, wonderful food. And out of that, I'm now being called by the different sects, the different bishops, and we are teaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are putting Jesus Christ on the center again. We are being faithful to the Every Home for Christ vision, which is that every person in Zimbabwe would get a genuine opportunity to respond to the truth and the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are breaking it down to bring it to the place where they truly understand yeah. the truth and Amen. the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, sir.